Amigo! Hello, people. Today we're going to talk about the 1978 Z-Toys catalog. All right, on the first two pages here we see the Puff and Play Furniture Series 1. And then the Puff and Play Furniture Series 2. Then we've got the Puff and Play Boat Set and the Puff and Play Dollhouse. What I find interesting about these Puff and Play series is that Intex today only sells mostly these inflatable toys, but not for dolls. Intex sells inflatable products for adults and children to play with in the pool. I find that, that very funny. All right, here we go. The Wind Racers. These are really cool. They've got opening doors and back hatches. The double-decker bus has a sliding door. This is, these are features that we just don't see on a lot of dollar die-cast toys today. All right, here we got the Minimax and the the super vans. I really like this licensed mobile tanker. Probably not licensed, but it's still a mobile logo, which is really cool. All right, here's the uh, highway patrol set with two of the helicopters. Very cool. And the MASH 4077 set also with two helicopters. Uh, the same helicopter from the police set, but this one is the MASH 4077 version. It's got the the gurneys on the side of the helicopter and the brown paint job with the MASH 4077 stickers. Mm -hmm. On the next page we have the Dino Wheels, the Crazy Wheels, <laughs> the City Cycles, and the Slickers. Very cool. You know, I don't remember a company that's ever made a die-cast miniature replica of a bicycle. Motorcycles, yes, but both bi bicycles, I don't know that anyone's ever done that. All right, the Ridge Riders Series 3 and the Ridge Riders Series 4. And the Metal Man Series. Very cool. I had this blue guy here. Not sure what happened to him, but... All right, the Dino Flights. Here on page 20, we've got the Japanese Zero. The 109E Messerschmitt, the Futz Spade, the Fast Buck P40 Flying Tiger, and a uh, Air Force marked P40 Flying Tiger. The Junkers JU87, Corsair F4U, and the P38 Lightning. Here on page 21, we've got the Sky Crane. The Bell Rescue Copter, the OH 6A Quick TV 4 Copter, the H 19 Rescue Sikorsky, and the OH 6A Police Helicopter. And then at the top of page 21, we have the Jets, which are my favorite part of this whole catalog. The MiG 25. The Starfighter F-104 FG, the Phantom F-4E, the Messerschmitt ME-262, 
the MiG-21, and then the commercial jets, DC-10, Boeing 747, Boeing 727, and the Boeing 707. Very cool. All right, on the next page, we've got the Dynamites. Very cool tank series that are also very hard to find. When you do see them, the antennas are broken off or the, the barrels are broken. <laughs> because these toys were played with heavily. The tracks on these move and they're made of uh, rubber. And typically you don't see these toys with the rubber tracks on them anymore. Very cool tanks, they're very collectible. All right, here we've got the Son of a Gun series. It's a cap gun. And if many of you remember, I did a video on this Army 45 at the bottom here. <laughs> This was one of my first toys that I still have today, and it still works, which is surprising. All right, the competitors and the pace, pace setters, very cool. The pace setters are a pullback series, basically, and the competitors looks like a larger scale version with uh, real rubber tires and incredible detail. These are very cool. All right, the Le Mans series. And the new UFOs. <laughs> well, they're not really unidentified because we know what they are. The Runabouts and the fan, the Fantastics. <laughs> Very cool. And then the Hubbles and the Critter Cruisers. Very dorky. But I'm sure if you're a three-year-old, these are probably the coolest thing in the world. Ah, more toy guns. The Challengers and the Defenders. The Defenders looks like a, a set that includes one of the challengers and then some accessories. And then down here at the bottom we've got the Chug-a-Log, <laughs> which seems like a copy of uh, Lego's early beginnings. If you're not familiar, that's, that's where Lego made their beginnings, was wooden toys. I know, right? Now we've got a uh, collection of different play sets, the Wind Racers, the Ridge Riders, the Highway Patrol set, the Super Vans, the Mini, Mini Max, the MASH 4077 set, and the Dynaflights Airport set. Very cool. And on the last page we have more toy guns, the Super Squirts. <laughs> That's a riot. And what we also get with this catalog is a toy, uh, the, the price list for all these toys, which is really hard to find. These price lists are very rare. And with the price list, we have a typed and signed letter by Bradley M. Stern, which we see here is one of Z's representatives in Illinois. Very cool personalized letter to the customer, which would be a, a dealer, you know, like a pharmacy or a grocery store or a toy store that's looking to buy these toys. Here in this price list, we see the item number in the first column. The second column is the description of the toy. And with the subcategories, we see the different play sets that we just reviewed. This third column uh, shows the number of items in each package or each box and these quantities would be the by the dozen so whatever number you see here in the third column you multiply by 12. And then 
this fourth column shows the weight of that complete package with overall dimensions of that complete package, the cubic feet that it takes up, the cost of each item, and then the cost per dozen. And then as the customer, you would input the quantity that you wanted to order, and then the total cost, and then add it up down here at the bottom, send this form back to the company, which is why I typically don't see these price lists, and that's how you would order them, apparently in 1978. And there we see a list of all their representatives, which is the same list pretty much right there. And on the back of the catalog, we see pictures of their facility in Long Beach, California. Thanks for watching, people. Make it a great day. Uh, Congressman, it's an important question. As you said, uh, YouTube is committed to being a platform for freedom of expression, and you know we, we go to great lengths to do that. 